So now we're going to look at the second of our three ways of finding probability, the classical approach to probability. And this approach requires that we have equally likely outcomes. So what we're going to do is assume that for a given procedure, um, or that a given procedure has n different simple events uh, in the sample space, and that each of those simple events has an equal chance of occurring, equally likely, once again. Um, and what we're going to do is, in order to find the probability of A, in order to find the probability of A, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ratio of the number of ways that A can occur, number of ways A can occur. So this requires a lot of knowledge of the situation. You have to know how many ways the particular event can occur. And you're going to divide that by the number of different simple events. So um, this is how we're going to calculate the probability using the classical approach. Uh, and the number of different simple events is actually just the um, sample size or the, uh, the, the, the size of the sample space. All right, so let's uh, 